Hello everybody, I'm Sneaksy Gamer, and for the next game on the channel, I'm going to be doing Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. I won't be doing a lot of it, but there was a new season just started, so I figured I would start a new character. And... I figured I would just play this for a bit. That sounds like it's echoing. One second. Hopefully everything's okay. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the... I like demon hunters, but they're a bit easier because you don't have to get right up to the enemies. I mean, I enjoy all the classes, but... Torn between a wizard and possibly a monk. But I think I might go with a barbarian because I haven't actually... I haven't done an actual barbarian since... Probably since I started the game. And that was my... Well, actually, my favorite class in Diablo 2 was a paladin, but they don't have paladins here. I think I'll go with a barbarian. So... Let's call him... Bubba. No. I'll call him Tiny. There we go. A new start. Participating in a season gives you the opportunity to reap exclusive rewards. Seasonal heroes can seasonal heroes start completely fresh and can only play with other seasonal heroes. You will not be able to use non-seasonal items in your stash. You will start at zero gold and you will have to retrain your artisans. Except. And I will be playing the campaign. And I'm part of a clan on here. And... My dad may end up joining me sometimes on here as well. Because we tend to... We tend to play together on here. When I'm on here, we'll run together and stuff, so... My dad and other people from my clan might end up joining me here and there. And this takes a while to load here and there. And another problem with this, it's entirely online, and it's on their servers, so... If they're having a problem with their servers, I will have a bad connection. So that could happen here and there too. I tire of the empty battles I once craved. I wonder... Outcast, while my tribe curses the gods who abandoned us. Our home is in ruins, yet I stand firm. Six days ago, the falling star struck the town of Tristram. 
the dead rose in its wake. What evil is this? Could it be what I have sought these long years? A foe worthy of my blade. And it's been a while since I played this, so I'm not going to be real good right away. Ah, I forgot to change the difficulty. I can raise it here, but one moment, guys. Sorry about that. Clan message of the day says drink adult beverages. <laughs> it used to be stay frosty for quite a while, but now it says drink adult beverages. Nice. Sorry about that. I want to start out on a higher difficulty than just normal. Uh... I think I normally start out on Master. There we go. Now I'll start the game. Sorry about that, I just... I like to start out on a higher difficulty because it's more challenging then and you level up and stuff faster, so... If it gets to be too bad, you are able to lower the difficulty in-game, so... If it gets too bad, I can always drop it down to Expert. But I believe I typically go on Master. And it's a struggle at first, but... But I can... I can handle it, I think. This place reeks of death. The Fallen Star is near. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn the volume in-game up just a little bit. done a good barbarian since I first got the game, so hopefully I can get this one to be quite powerful. And this is basically a grind fest style game. You just kill enemies, get loot, kill enemies, get loot. But that's why I went with the campaign because there's a storyline. Got a new skill, Hammer of the Ancients. Call down a mystical hammer and smash groups of enemies. I seek the fallen star. It fell on the old cathedral. There was only one survivor, Leah. You should speak with her. Captain Rumford, more dead are coming. We can't open the gates until we drive them back. That's the skill I just got. I keep coming. Not enough fury. And using that skill requires fury, which is different from the first two games. The first two games in the Diablo series, you had your life and you had mana. In this one, each each different class like has a specific um, resource that their skills require. Burn those corpses before they rise again. The dead have been a bane on our existence since that cursed fire fell. We have to burn them just to make sure they don't rise from the grave. Okay, and still way too quiet here. Voice volume, I'll bring up to 60. I'll bring the overall volume up to 60. Everything will go up to 60. Except the music. I don't want the music to be too loud because that gets overpowering. See, this is a thing that I... I came here to study the fall of old Tristram. This is closer to the town's history than I want to be. 
Let's see, I originally, when I very first time Zachary I started my channel, I wanted to do a, ch a video of this. And I actually did record one video of this. Death may be upon us all soon, but, but I it never got released. To ease your pain. It never got released because I went through and I recorded the video, and then when I checked it, my latest dig. You should take a look. this guy is a merchant I can buy stuff from. When I checked the video before I uploaded it, it I was too. The um. The in-game audio was way too overpowering. Don't you dare lift a finger to help our mayor fix his wagon. My brother died defending this town while that bloated coward tried to run away. The dead rising from their graves. This must be the end of the world. Now this guy is for... You can talk to him and you can fight Some heroes are fighting each other other area people. Yeah, yeah. Wanna go? Oh, and uh, you didn't hear about it from me. <laughs> you can fight other Afraid players of damaging here. your armor or weapons? Uh, that won't happen over there. In fact, no one even dies. Disappointing, really. And I like that they did that because in the in Diablo 2, when you fought people, it was PvP was out in the world. For many years, villagers were too afraid to settle near the ruins of the cursed town Tristram. But as time went by, adventurers arrived to loot the old cathedral, and their business was profitable enough that new Tristram sprang up to accommodate them. Fewer travelers visit now, though, and the town is mostly populated by craftsmen and farmers. Tristram used to be such a wonderful place to live. There's My a lot family of story has been here since game. the town grew out of the ruins of old Tristram. But now, it's horrible. The loved ones we've buried and grieved over now threaten our lives. Okay, I've got a message pending. So I've got these things for one of the artisans later on. And here's Leah. We're supposed to come and talk to her. Are you Leah? Rumford said you survived the Fallen Star. I did. But it blasted my uncle, Deckard Kane into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia, but... Th Watch out! The wounded are turning! The dead will overwhelm us all yeah, unless something is done. Ha, ha, ha. I will send them back to their graves. I will save your town. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do. Welcome to the Slaughtered Calf Inn. Bring me whatever treasures you have no use for. I'll give you a bit of coin to save up for your casket. Now we're gonna go into Leah's room. Leah's book. We've been under siege for six days now. Uncle Deckard is still missing. Captain Rumford and the others are losing hope. I tell them not to lose faith. But if help doesn't arrive soon... Have you come to help us? Yeah. I don't care what no, anyone no. says. I'm not gonna listen to every NPC because there's way too much dialogue then. Kane was right. Even in death, Diablo. Kane's house. We have come at last to Tristram's old cathedral. This is where Diablo, Lord of Terror, first corrupted mankind. This is where I may finally find the answers I seek. Leah worries after my safety. But I believe information vital to defeating the last lords of the Burning Hells can be found here. Yeah, Deckard Kane has been a character from the very first game. 
and he was quite old then, so <laughs> he's very How can old. I now. help fight the risen dead? I admire your courage, but Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. Your warriors will be avenged. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these horrors. They're attacking the barricades! So now I have to go and kill the wretched mother. I need fury. Mothers. There are more of them in the ruins down the road. I, Deckard Cain, have spent many years traveling and writing about the strange creatures in our world. But yes, the sight of the wretched mothers still haunts me. They are the remnants of Queen Asilla's slaughtered ones. handmaidens who were twisted by foul magic. Now they feast upon cadavers and regurgitate them as newly formed risen dead. So, I'm an old Tristram Lover. Tristram is, has been in each of the games as well. I will never forget the first time I saw these horrors shambling out of the misty woods. Our loved ones, buried long ago, rose from their graves and began to attack the living. However, the risen dead were only the beginning. So I got some shoes. And I picked up some gloves at some point. I don't remember grabbing. I must not have been paying attention. But yeah, I switched to Cleave because it gets multiple enemies. And I'm not doing a whole lot of damage right now because I'm on a harder difficulty than normal. But eventually I'll get there. I had heard the rumors, but I thought them just fancies of bored women. Until I saw them dragging people through the streets today. Our own citizens. Has the world gone mad? And in this one you have a an unlimited supply of portions to heal with. You didn't before, in the very beginning of when they first released it, you didn't, but now you do. I am Abdal it just has a 30 second cooldown. And researcher. I share my knowledge of this incredible world and its creatures through my insightful missives. Often, at grave risk to myself. Why, I was recently in Kanduras, where my tents were ransacked by vicious quill fiends. I was able to beat them off with a shoe, but a less bold man would have fared far worse. More fury. But yeah, the Barbarian's Fury is increased by fighting. It increases your fury. Other classes, they, it, they're, um, not all of them, but most of them, their not enough fury. resource regenerates on its own. And we've got our first elite enemy here, which could be a problem. I need fury. Yeah, I'm probably gonna die here. That's the only problem when I start on a higher difficulty like this is when I run into elites. I wish I could do that. More fury. So yeah, I might die here, and I might die a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, I 
start a run. That's the bad thing about starting on such a high difficulty. When you run into the leaps and champions, you're Not a big fury. <laughs> But I mean, you want to see their life and the amount of damage I'm doing. I am badly hurt. And then consider that they do more damage than the regular enemies. That's to be expected. And it's hard to get them to separate at all. Yeah, this is a type of game, there's no dodging or anything, you just run away. <laughs> and those names on the leaks like this, I think I was calling them elites. Yeah, these are elites, the... I yeah, must wait ones. longer. I hurt. Okay, you know what? Just for the sake of the of the videos, I'm going to lower the difficulty to expert, so I can kill these things a bit faster. I'm mean, still gonna take a little bit, but I won't take as long. More fury. It won't take quite as long. I must wait. I longer. must heal. Crap. I just don't like going on normal because it takes it doesn't take that long to level up, but it takes a lot longer. And I like to try to challenge of a higher difficulty. Healed. Yeah, those little red orbs that drop, those heal you. And this thing is the wall or ability, which is those walls that we could not just because of this thing. And well, Waller does suck, there's much worse. They can shoot through that fence and stuff, which kind of seems. I must wait longer. Okay, I'm almost done. This shouldn't take this long, but I, like I mentioned, I did start on a higher difficulty, so I'm healed. No, I think it's just this one left. There might be one more. If there is, that's not going to be too cold after a few years. And I don't pay much attention to the chat down in the bottom left corner. And my my camera is covering up the map up in the corner, but that's not exactly. It's not exactly that important to see. Because I can bring up the bigger map like this if I need to. I need fury. Folks love luck again. I gain new strength. So I got a new skill category, and I got the skill Ground Stomp. Smash the ground and stun nearby enemies for 4 seconds. So is that everything in here now? Okay, moving on. 
need more time. And as you can most likely guess, the Barbarian is a closer personal, heavy damage, high defense, stuff like that. They're meant for close range combat. And while I like the Barbarian, I'm a much bigger fan of some of the other classes, but I'm choosing to do a Barbarian because I haven't done one for a while, so... guys walking corpses. Sometimes when they die they will split into the crawling torsos. Like when they fall like that, they split into the crawling torsos. And I got a short bow, but I can't use that because I'm not the right class to use it. So that's kind of cool, but it kind of sucks too. You don't really get to choose what type of weapons you use that much. I mean, there's plenty of variety for the melee classes, not fury. but you can't use, like, I can't use a wand, I can't use spells or anything like that. But yeah, I figured since season, I believe it's season 8, just started here, so... I figured why not all do some videos on this. I'm going to at least complete the campaign so the storyline is done. While exploring a cave, with hopes of finding hidden treasure, I came upon a most grisly sight. A heap of dead bodies. Unbelievably, as I was searching them for any items of value, they began to rise. I must tell them of this in New Tristram before it's too late. And I think he died before it was too late. Or before he could get there, so it is too late now. I will enjoy this. Oh yeah, plagued. That sucks. Those cause poison. Those do poison damage. And these are champions here. Ones. Oh yeah, if I stand on this thing on the ground, I can really take damage. So. Again, there's much worse than that, though. <laughs> the one that I hate the most is Arcane Enchantment. Because that crap does so much damage. Even when I've got a high resistance to it, it does a ton of damage. You will eventually see that. And as I get stronger and get further into the game, the enemies will gain like how they've got one power right now, they'll gain more. Like I can run into Waller, Plagued, Arcane, and another one is not bad, or Vortex, or something like that. I mean, there's... Once you get way into the game, they can have up to four... They can get up to four different abilities like that, and that sucks. Some of the combinations are just ridiculous. You'll see some of them later on, I can guarantee it. Some of the ones that are just total crap. I'm 
almost two old Tristram ruins. Which is where I'm supposed to be going right now. And I completed four oh, myself killing three wretched mothers, so... Now I can also use Rend instead of Camera of the Ancients. One thing I forgot to show, if you hold control it shows you the numbers for this. So Rend, wound nearby enemies and cause them to bleed for five seconds. If you hold control, it's a sweeping strike causes all enemies within 12 yards to bleed for 1100% weapon damage as physical over five seconds. So I'm going to go with that one because that does more damage. And I like that attack. Got more champions. Diablo here, himself once so. so now, if I stand back, their life just keeps going down for five seconds, so that's nice. So it's not instant damage, but it does do damage. A little bit of damage over time. Uh -oh. The Queen has just attacked me. So now I've engaged that. That's what I'm supposed to be killing in here. Down there. I need healing. I must wait longer. No, okay. Dang, that was close. So I was standing on that plague. So. Activated the old military point. So now I can teleport here from other little points. So that's nice. I think all of the, the ones with the purple names like that, those are um those are unique enemies. And when I kill it, of course. Griswold's fine weapons. Griswold was a blacksmith in the original game. He was the blacksmith in the original game. I'm gonna finish clearing all the games before I head back and talk to the other rum for that. I'm gonna talk to the after I talk to the other that's right. But yeah, this is basically Not basically what the majority of this game is going to be. It's going to kill myself like this and get moved, but it will get better over time. Because over time I'll get better skills, better equipment. In my opinion, it gets more fun later on, but I don't know. I just figured because I've, for a while now, I've only been doing the one video of Dark Souls in the case, so I figured I'd do something different too. 
because I'm I don't think I'm gonna be going back to seven days to die. I might once they update it again. But for now I'm done with seven days to die. And I'm not gonna be doing hour long episodes of this. This one I'm just kind of getting the first little bit of the storyline done here. Okay, where is it? There should be a... Pretty sure there should be a chest here with a book in it somewhere. I just don't remember where it can spawn. There's a couple of different places. I think it can in here and leg. Of course, I think it can in here, but it's not in there. I will be going down there in a moment. I know it can over here, but I didn't find it over here. Maybe it does. Maybe it didn't spawn in here this time, but I thought it normally did. Yeah, it looks like it didn't spawn in here this time. Dark Cellar. So we've got some enemies in here, of course. I need fury. So after I kill him, I get through some corpses or something like that. That's one of one of the people from my plan just came online. Got a chest there and a barrel. So now I'm gonna head up here. I think there might be yeah, there's a corpse here that, that can drop stuff. So now Head back to Tristram. And then once I get there, the cow level is a lie. There was a cow level in Diablo 2, and there actually is in this one as well, but. Okay, yeah, that'll, that'll work. That does more damage. I'll talk to Captain Thank you for Rumford. your help, but could you talk some sense into Leah? She won't give up on the idea of rescuing her uncle. Nor should she. I will help her find him. And then I'll talk to Come, you. Come, let us search for your uncle. We'll need to open the cathedral first. The guards locked it up before they were ambushed. Rumford told me they fought their way back to Adria's hut. The key must still be there. Now, Adria was a witch in the original game. You know it's not polite to go through other people's things, don't you? Yes, I know that. Of course, Deckard King wouldn't have anything in there now, but I think there might be another book in Leah's room. Just gonna walk this is right my in. Room. Do you like it? Just gonna read her journal. A miracle has happened. A hero, like one out of Uncle Deckard's tales, appeared and saved us. I know in my heart that my uncle still lives, and I pray that the hero will bring him home safely. Okay, now, let's go and sell off this equipment that I'm not using. I've got some brand new goods you might be interested in. And see if there's anything I want to get. Those would be helpful. Wrong spot. I 
And I don't have enough to get the, the chest armor, but oh well. And I will... That's right, you don't need to put anything into your stash in here, really, other than items. But anyway, that's it for this episode. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I will see you in the next episode. Bye.